everyone welcome back to another session so today we are going to discuss about musical films okay as the title denotes musical films is of course accompanied by music often it is accompanied by dance okay so definition of this particular type of movie see this is uh, uh, of course the uh, sub genus of uh, films or uh, minor type of films we're getting it not the major ones major genres actually included narrative films evergreen and documentary okay i hope you are remembering all this uh, okay so the definition of this musical film it goes like this okay so uh, such movies will be consisting of songs sung by characters which are interwoven into the narrative okay so you will be having characters they will be singing songs and it will be an integral or very important part of the narrative or the plot okay and as i said before it is of course accompanied by dancing many a time Uh, and you know what there is some duty and purpose for using this music in such kinds of music many a times okay not in the case of all movies okay uh, in the case of uh, certain movies this music or this particular element of music actually is used just for a break for example the commercial movies that we right now or in the contemporary times that we are we are watching okay so otherwise okay uh, there is some purpose okay why we are making use of this particular musical uh, film or music inside the film so it will be helping for the advancement of the plot as such okay or it will be helping for the development of the characters inside that particular movie we getting in for example if i say we will take a, an example of a malayalam movie for example hari krishnan so in that there is a song called samayam ida purva sayanam and over that uh, we come to see and we come to know who are the criminals okay behind that uh, act of mu- murder of that uh, very person around which that investigation is going on okay so uh, that particular a uh, sequence of that music inside it had a purpose are you getting it so um, of course as uh, as we had just uh, discussed uh, this music is also used for creating breaks too. okay and uh, you know what uh, this particular type of movie actually came uh, to be used after the emergence of sound film technology okay um and we can see that uh, these musical films uh, were actually um, you know most popular uh, through 1930s okay i would say from 1930s through 1960s are you getting it and we could see you know when you just see the development of musical films inside film industry or in the history of film making we see that uh, when uh, this particular technology was developed there came short films okay in the beginning for example during 1923 uh, 24 during that period uh, lee de forest he had this particular man had made uh, many short films and after that you can see a surge of short films okay musical short films i would say thousands of films short films were created but uh, when you look into that uh, particular movie uh, sorry yeah of course the short films what we see is we see characters okay uh, who are performing their role accompanied by a background music okay so you had vocalist over the you have uh, dancers over the but anyway this characters will be performing their role with a background music we getting it and there was no dialogue that was the feature of the short films of that time and uh, as we all know the first movie this actually happens to be the uh, first movie with the synchronized sound first feature movie and first uh, feature movie with a musical element too okay which is that movie of course the movie uh, made by warner brothers uh, it is titled as the jazz singer and it was released in 1927 okay so remember 19 it is actually from 1927 a, a sound film actually came to happen are you getting it so but anyway in that particular movie too when you just look into the technicalities we see that there is one character called l jolson okay you can uh, literally check the spelling over here l jolson there is a character called l jolson and he goes on talking okay goes on singing songs 
Are you getting it? For example, dirty hands, dirty faces, toot, toot, tootsie, blue skies, my mommy. Okay, these are all song sequences inside this particular movie. So one speciality of this particular movie is like this. Of course, it has music. But, uh, you know, this music was actually limited to these sequences of th these particular a song sung by this character called L. Jolson and uh, this movie again uh, doesn't uh, had sorry doesn't have any dialogues are you getting it so of course uh, Warner Brothers went into making of another movie and uh, uh, in that they had actually went for making it okay uh, you know partly a musical okay there actually came in uh, uh, 1929 uh, there came a movie made by MGM okay uh, the Broadway uh, melody that was the title of the movie okay uh, the movie actually had two sisters competing for the love of a man who who knew singing and dancing and all and MGM had advised that this particular movie actually uh, is uh, all talking all singing and uh, all dancing okay that was the advertisement for this particular movie okay the Broadway melody uh, released in 1929 and you know what this particular movie was also given uh, the Academy Award for best picture in 1929 so let us uh, get into a few examples of uh, the same category okay i will just read it out for you okay uh, you have it in your material but still just for your sake um, so some of the examples of this particular movie are the show of shows which was released in 1929 uh, then Sally which was released in 1929 again the Vagabond King okay again released in 1930 uh, then uh, Bright Lights okay in 1930 then Golden Dawn okay in 1930 Hauled Everything in 1930 The Rogue Song in 1930 Sweet Kitty Bellayers okay in 1930 under a texas moon again in 1930 bride of the regiment again in 1930 whoopee in 1930 the king of jazz in 1930 okay then viennese knights again 1930 kiss me again in 1930 so all these are uh, a few examples of the musical films and i hope uh, the ideas that we had shared over here are pretty clear with you so make use of the material that you are having okay mm, go through it um, at least uh, uh, try to understand what are the different aspects of this particular minor type of movie thank you for listening keep watching our next session will be on horror films thank you